hello guys welcome back to a new video and in this video i'm gonna show you how to install this add-on in your terrorectal panel but first you need to have the panel installed if you have not watched my earlier videos you can go and watch my earlier videos on the channel i have done on separate hosting providers and more hosting websites will be coming through as i get the machines and all the other stuff so for this also the second requirement is the add-on or the extension you could say is the blueprint so i have made a video on the extension installation of blueprint so you can watch that video if you don't understand their documentation so when you come to this page you can see here it's written down here so uh, now let's get back to the video and i will show you how to install it so this thing is downloaded already so i'm gonna go here so this is the add-on so when you open it you'll get a file dot blueprint so you need to access your ftp for the server so i'm gonna use win SAP. okay connect and you, you can open any of this so i have it opened already so basically what it's saying is like thank you to purchase this add-on and now we are gonna install it so this is the extension installation so you need this installed as i told you before the blueprint.zip okay after that's done this file here right we need to drag it and put it into a main directory which is var www then slash teradactyle okay as it is told here as you can see here okay and then we'll do that first okay so yeah we are, we are done uploading it and now we need to go to the terminal so i'm going to use the terminus to access my machine okay we are already in the machine so we need to be in this path so i'll be going to this path copy cd slash path enter okay so we have to run this command here so i'm gonna copy this and then paste it directly here okay so if it comes like this just don't worry get it up um so now you need to press enter it will do its work and download all the dependencies which it needs so as you can see it's successfully installed if your thing is not installed or something goes wrong here it will be in red so you will have to contact the developer and the developer will be able to help you with the situation because i did not program this or code this so the developer is the best option for you when you buy this add-on so i'm gonna go to the panel now and hope that it's installed okay oh this is the testing panel sorry so i'm gonna go to the panel so there's nothing on the back end i suppose it's uh everything is on the front end so we are going to the server which i have created okay and as you can see here mod pack okay and now you can install whatever mod pack you want so for example this is for fabric but we have a forge mica server so we are gonna look for forge here okay and the version you want you can select any version you want and we'll select this option delete all the server files because we don't have any data on it and install okay your server installation has begun so it will do its installation and after that you can play in your server so let us wait until the server gets installed so as you can see the installation is completed so i'm gonna start the server just to show you that the installation was done so the installation was done and i'm gonna show you the backend of it so the the last thing you need to do here is 
you need to put the curse forge api key so you will get it so you will get it in your curse forge uh, curse forge's website so i have mine ready already over here so this is where you go to put it in so admin okay then this puzzle if you have installed blueprint then this will pop up here so this is blueprints and this is the mod we installed just now so i'm just gonna paste it here okay and we are good to go so it automatically takes in the value so it's done and this was the more adjustments or permissions you would say and i'm gonna save it and that's it and the server has installed the mod okay so yes this was it for this video and i will be seeing you in the next video till then tata bye bye